Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Thomas Lyle Golubovic. I am a senior tech here at Autodesk Australia. Um, what I wanted to talk to you about today is about a recap um, and some of the issues that you might encounter with it. So you can see here on the screen, I had my counterpart, Matthew, come and ask me about uh, a recap model that he wanted created from eight or nine scans. Um, and then we ran it through the automatic registration process and this is sort of what we got. Um, it's, the, it's a scan of, of um, the internals of a pipe. So if I jump into one of the, the orbs here, you'll see sort of what it is. Um, so that's all it really was. It's just four arms on wheels running inside of a pipe. And at the top right here, you can see where all the other scans are. So it's, it's a little bit messy. Um, so I thought of a way to maybe um, sort of separate them a little bit better. So what I've essentially ended up doing is creating individual scans from the source files themselves. So you can see here I've got triple O uh, down at 007. So what I'm going to do now is show you what I've done with the last one. So this is going to be project number 008. And then I'm going to drag the FLS file into it. Um, just for time, I am not going to touch any of the settings. Um, and then I'm going to let the software um, just go through and uh, index the scans. <coughs> Excuse me. And then what I'm going to do is show you how we can bring all of those um, scans together, and then even possibly get a better um, recap model out of uh, these eight scans, which again, uh, the internals of a pipe, um, there's not really much to compare between the scans because the internals of a pipe, it's always pretty much going to be the same. So the software doesn't really know uh, how far along it is. And what we're eventually going to do is export um, this project out. Um, via a cloud function that is inside recap and that is going to be um, converted to a remake model which we can then export out as an FBX or an OBJ or even something like that that uh, you know maybe something like Inventor or Plant or Revit or, or Navisworks can read um, and then we can have a look at it as a, as a, as a uh, meshed, meshed model. Um, that functionality will only work with models of certain sizes, so we will have to do a little bit of clipping and trimming, but um, by the end of this series of videos, uh, you're gonna see that we can convert a recap project into a remake project. Um, and this is the first video of maybe another two or three where we're gonna go through each of the, each of the steps um, and then get to our final uh, model of a remake uh, meshed scan. So now that the last one has been done, you can see here it's it's something, it could be at the top of the pipe, it could be at the bottom of the pipe. I'm not sure on the initial scans, um, but that's basically what we've ended up with. So to merge all of them together, I find that if I open up the first um, recap project so that was called triple O and you can see here it's basically the first scan so again I, I'm assuming it's going to be at the top of the run uh, I'm going to save as and call it combined models so all I've done is taken the triple O one the first one and saved it so now what I'm going to do is import the other scans so one through eight, okay. So that was the first one we've already done. And what I'm gonna do is skip the registration. And then you see the software will start merging them. Now, I'm not saying this is necessarily correct. Again, I don't know what the original scan or what the original pipes look like. Um, it could be correct. Uh, the only person that will tell me will be my colleague Matthew, um, and if he has them, then he's going to know that this was 
the actual scan. For all I know, the scans could have been done at the top of the pipe and at the bottom here, and you can see uh, that we've got probably a little bit more information and it's a little bit neater as well. Now to see where all of those scans are, I can click on the layers button down the uh, bottom right here, the project navigator, and I can see the scan locations. So even if I turn scans on and off, using the visibility button, I can see that those scans have overlaid. So again, this could be right, it could be wrong, I don't know, but uh, I guess until Matthew sees it, he's going to be the person to tell me. So even if you look down here, we've got scan 7 and 8. So scan 7 looks like it was the bottom of something, some sort of maybe outlet or whatever. Uh, and scan 8 was the top part of it. So, you know, we could be on a good thing here. So now that we have it as combined models, in the next video, we're going to look at uh, using the mesh functionality here. Object mesh. So now we can convert those over and we're going to do that uh, in the next video sometime soon. Thank you.